Hello and welcome to another episode of Cat Kids Art Corner. Uh, my name is Devin and this is my assistant Georgie who I think is trying to help. Uh, and we are here for another take on how to utilize art in your day-to-day -day practice as a means of coping with big emotions, stressful situations, just to relax, anything. Um, so we have a fun activity for you, for you today that you are going to need a couple supplies for before we even get into talking about that. If you watch these videos, you know that I really like to start our, all of our art making with a mindfulness activity. And just as a refresher, if you don't know what mindfulness is, mindfulness is paying attention to the present moment instead of kind of letting your brain wander into worries about the past, about the future. Mindfulness is kind of just taking stock of what's around you in the moment and how your body is feeling. Um, so let's check in with our body and make sure that we are ready to create art today. Um, so let's get grounded as usual. And let's take a deep breath in. A deep breath out. Another deep breath in. Another deep breath out. And we are going to practice very kind of like targeted mindfulness today for our uh, kind of check-in activity. So what I want you to do is I want you to take a second and kind of look around you and just find an object. Find any object that is in the room that you can see. And we are going to be mindful about that very specific object. Uh, this sort of taps back into um, our five senses. We're going to focus specifically on the sense of sight. And I want you to take 30 seconds to a minute to observe the object of your choice from maybe a different perspective. So for example, I have like a cup of coffee right here next to the computer. And I'm going to look at that cup of coffee like Maybe like I'm an alien and I've never seen a cup of coffee before. And I want you to notice things about it that maybe you wouldn't have otherwise. So what we're doing is we're kind of shifting our perspective a little bit. So let's practice deep breathing and let's just kind of observe for ourselves this random object just for about 30 seconds, okay? And I, as you do this, I will cue your breathing so we make sure that we are breathing deeply. Okay, so I'm going to breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Awesome job. Um, and you can utilize this sort of like perspective shift with anything um, as a way to practice mindfulness throughout the day. And also I find that it's just a good practice to kind of challenge our perspective at times. Um, we're so used to seeing things through our eyes that sometimes we can miss things. So it's important to be mindful of ourselves and of our perspective and how that might affect those around us as well. Um, so let's get into the art making today. We are doing pulled string art. Uh, you will need a couple supplies. You will need some string. I have, it's more yarn, yarn or string works. Um, a large piece of paper. If you don't have a larger piece of paper, two pieces of computer paper should be just fine. Um, a big heavy book. Um, and a couple colors of paint. I have chosen three colors of paint. And you will also need a few cups. Um, three, I have three cups for my three colors of paint. Um, and I think that's all we need today. Oh, um, and a spoon. So let's go ahead and grab those things and meet right back here in a second. All right, thanks. We are back. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to take our cups. Um, I have chosen to use plastic cups because the cleanup is a lot quicker. So you may want to do that. Um, so we don't need a lot of paint in each of these cups. We just need enough to kind of coat the bottom. So let me give you an idea of how much paint we're looking at here. There we go. 
about that. Okay, so I have this really nice kind of like mint green and I have this navy. There we go. And I have a nice red as well. All right. So now that we have our colors and I, I just chose three, you can use as many colors as you like. Uh, we are going to get started. So we're going to cut off three pieces of string and it's up to you how long you want it to be. I tend to kind of just want maybe like, well, it's probably about a foot and a half. I think a foot and a half should be just fine, maybe two feet. And I am cutting three pieces of string for my three cups of paint. And as you get your string, you're going to drop it in like so. Make sure you leave one end hanging out so you don't want to have to like fish it out with your fingers and get and get painty fingers. Um, okay, two and three. And I told you guys to get a spoon, but I forgot a spoon. Uh, so I'm gonna go grab one and we'll pick up in just a second. Welcome back. So once you have your utensil, and after I told you to go grab one spoon, I realized that you were actually going to need as many uh, like utensils or stirs as you have paint cups, just so you don't mix the paint together. Um, so I found a pack of like plastic utensils that come with uh, Chinese takeout, <laughs> which is what I had the other night. Uh, so what I have done is I have used each in each cup to stir the paint. And all you want to do is you want to make sure that the paint has fully coated the string and that you have this little like dry unpainted string end hanging off the side of your cup. So I got all of that, which means that I'm ready for my next step. So let's go ahead and grab our big book. Um, when I was looking at my bookshelf, I kind of just figured that an art book might be the most appropriate thing to do today, to use today, so I have done that. And you just want to kind of pick a page in the middle and open it up, and you are going to just set it down. Okay, so I have a big piece of paper. Let me show you, I believe, there we go. Um, so I have a big piece of paper. If you don't have large paper, that's totally okay. You can use two pieces of computer paper. Um, you just have to be really careful of where you put your string because sometimes the paint moves and it might get in the book. Um, so I have my big paper and I'm just going to fold it in half, like so. And I'm going to set it inside the book. Let me show you what that looks like. Just like that. Like you're adding an extra page into the book. So I am going to start, I'm going to start with this blue. And so you want to keep this utensil handy because when you pull your string out, you might notice there's a lot of paint on it. And you might want to kind of just get some of that paint off like so. Okay, so now you have your painted string. Let me move the, com the computer down so you can see what I'm doing. And we just want to kind of lay it wherever. There's no rhyme or reason. I've just kind of laid my string down. And because I want to experiment with different colors, I'm going to grab my other string. If you can see, I am getting extra paint off of this while I pull this string up. And make sure that the dry end of your string is hanging off of the book. See that? Okay. And I've got one more. And you can also experiment with where the dry piece of the string kind of hangs off as well. So I'm getting the extra paint off this one. There we go. And I'm going to hang this one off the edge right there. So let me show you what that looks like right there. Okay. 
All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna close the book. And just to add a little bit of extra sensory um, activity here, we're really gonna like press the book down. We're gonna use our muscles. You might wanna tap it a little bit. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure before you do this next step, you wanna make sure you have a plan for what you are going to do with the string. Because that string is going to come out and it's going to be covered in paint and we want to have a good place to put it. So I have a piece of paper right off of my table here that is ready to catch the string when I pull it out. Make sure that you have somewhere to put it so that you don't get paint on the table. Um, so I think we are about ready. See I have my first two pieces of string here and as I pull I'm also going to be pressing down so your body is doing two things at once. You are pulling with one hand and you are pressing with the other. There's one and I'm dropping my string off on the side. And then I'm pressing with one hand and pulling with the other. And the last one, I'm pressing with one hand and I am pulling with the other. Okay. So now we get to see what we came up with. All right, so got my paper, it's folded. We're gonna open it up. There we go. So I always really like this because I feel like it always, the, a lot of the times you get shapes that kind of remind, it reminds me of nature, especially this blue shape down at the bottom kind of reminds me of a, of a flower, maybe a calla lily. Um, and one thing I want to do is we talked at the beginning of our video about shifting perspective. So when you get abstract art like this, that is a little bit out of your control, right? What that, um, it might be a surprise. How it turns out in the end sometimes it helps to just kind of shift your perspective a little bit and move the painting around to see one which direction you like it the best and two if different shapes come up for you when you shift perspective so let's shift our perspective on this painting a little bit take a look maybe you see something else Maybe you're noticing something when it's at a different angle than you did before. Uh, when I turned it upside down just then, I kind of noticed that the green and the red were mixing together in a way that I hadn't noticed before. And let's just shift it one more time. Oh, awesome. Very cool. Um, so this is our pulled string art activity. A uh, couple different variations. If you want to get super crafty and experimental, you can experiment with different lengths of string. You can experiment with different colors, how much string you put in. Um, and if you notice, when you, mi when you mix the different colors, sometimes they blend together a little bit. Ooh, you know what I'm just now noticing is that blue and that green mixing together over there in the left-hand corner. I really like that. Um, and so this is another art activity that I think kind of challenges our comfort with being out of control sometimes because oftentimes when we make art we want things to look a certain way. And I always think that some of the best ways to make art is to kind of challenge that idea and to just be in the moment and challenge your perspective a little bit when your art project is finished. Um, so thank you guys so much for joining in today. Um, I hope you had a good... <laughs> One second. Sorry about that. I think that was Georgie's way of saying goodbye. Um, you might notice that I am posting a little bit less over the summer, and that is because I am a little bit on summer break as well. So I will be posting uh, YouTube content every two weeks over the summer instead of every week. But also keep in mind that we do have the Cat Kids newsletter going out every other week as well. So please uh, reach out to me if you would like to be added to that newsletter. It has a lot of like arts tips and mindfulness tips. So take care. I hope you guys are having a great summer and you will see me again in two weeks.